Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Bluetooth radio status is not fixed after attempting the troubleshooting utility that's built into Windows 10 or Windows 11. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search icon and type in services. Best result should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. You want to locate the Bluetooth service, so Bluetooth, there might be a couple in here. Go ahead and double click on both of them and make sure serve type is set to automatic and that the service status is running for both. So go ahead and set for each one of these items in here. So automatic, apply and OK. So you want to make sure they're all running here, so pretty straightforward. See if that resolves the problem. If not, a couple more things we can try here. Close out of here, open up the search menu, type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now the first command I want you guys to type in is going to be in the description of the video. There will be two commands total. First one is going to be SFC, so followed by a space, forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Again, SFC, space forward slash scan now. This is going to be the system file checker utility. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard to begin the scan. This will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. So once that scan's finished, close out of here and restart your computer. And then see if that has resolved the problem that you're experiencing with your Bluetooth. Try and connect it again, see if you're good to go. If not, something else we can try here as well would be to reopen the command prompt as administrator. So again, CMD, right click on it, select run as administrator, select yes if you receive the user account control prompt. I will have, like I said, another command in the description of my video. So copy that and then go up the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit, and then select paste, paste it in. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard to begin the scan. This will take a little bit of time to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once that's done, close out of here and restart your computer once more. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that should have been about it, and that was able to resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.